Hey everybody, Adam Ripples Vox here, and we're going to be looking at recording games in Windows 10 from the Windows 10 store, such as this one I'm downloading now. Here's the question, can you do it? Well, I have a couple different answers for you. A. NVIDIA Shadowplay, if you're running an NVIDIA graphics card, can actually record them if you use desktop capture instead of actual game capture. If you have actual game capture enabled, certain games, like Modern Combat, Blackout Edition, which was one of my test out game, testing games, do not even display the graphics. However, games like Minecraft Windows 10 Beta Edition actually let you capture it via the desktop capture. So it's going to be pretty finicky, but if you use desktop capture mode, you can kind of get some video recording. In all games, when they load the developer logo, you do get the frame rate icon there. But if we play our test world here, then if I hit Alt F9, I'm not going to do it because I'm already playing, but if I hit Alt F9, you can go ahead and record with NVIDIA Shadow Play. only if desktop capture is enabled. Normal game capture, it will not detect the Windows 10 games. What about Fraps? Fraps does not detect the Windows 10 games at all, even with monitor, aero, desktop. I am using version 3.79, or 3.5.99, build 15618. They may release an update soon that's Windows 10 compatible, but Fraps was never really compatible with the Windows 8 apps, so don't expect that to happen. Same thing with DX Story. I keep DX Story updated every time it tells me there's an update, and it does not detect the Windows 10 apps at all. It did not detect the Windows 8 or 8.1 apps, so don't expect it anytime soon to detect those either. With OBS, however, which is what I'm using to record this right now, you may notice that I'm actually able to record it only, though, via monitor capture. So let's go ahead and load up Minecraft Windows 10 Edition Beta, and I clicked the wrong thing, of course. Let me try that again. I'm still learning this new newfangled start menu. Now, one weird thing about Minecraft Windows 10 Edition Beta is it does not go full screen. So if you're going to edit, you're going to have to edit out your top bars and get some black bar stuff. But frankly, that's not a huge deal. So we can click play, open up our creative world, and I'm still, I'm not getting full 60 frames per second all the time, but I am recording it. It will get choppy though, because monitor capture is not what you should be using to capture games. As you can see, it's very, very choppy on your end. It looks perfectly fine on my end, but you're getting between 5 and 60 frames per second. So that's not really a viable option either. It's a viable option if you just want to record like Windows 10, but not recording the game itself. Game capture in OBS does not work at all. So then, how can you record Windows 10 games? Surely there must be a way. Well, there is a way in using an external capture card to just record your desktop's out or your computer's output to another computer or to your computer using a capture card such as the Elgato HD 60, the AVIO that I just reviewed, etc. But there's also a new feature to Windows 10 apps and games because of their new Xbox One integration. There's actually an entire Xbox menu in this game. So if we hit Windows and G, we can pull up the Xbox menu. If I click the Xbox button, it's going to pull up the Xbox app. We're going to close that. We don't want to deal with that. But then you can record. You can take a screenshot. I just took a screenshot. Then you can set it to record your video or to automatically record the last like 30 seconds or so and then hit Win Alt G and click this to record that last 30 seconds. Click the settings bar and you have a lot of options here. You can check it to record the game in the background. In theory, you can change this time. However, the menu is very finicky and buggy at the moment, so I have no way of actually like adjusting this at all. Nothing I click actually works. But then you can set the max clip of, or the max length of how long you can record yourself to prevent from filling up your hard drive, whether or not you show pop-up tips, your Xbox bar with the Xbox button, etc. So this is really handy. And then there's another shortcut, because Windows plus G brings up this menu. However, if we get rid of this menu, and go back to playing, if I hit Win Alt R, it pops up that recording in the top right hand corner and actually starts recording my game for me. And yeah, it records video. 
it record it only records up to 1080p 30 frames per second so despite the fact that i normally record at uh, 1440p 60 frames per second and i'm playing on a 1440p monitor it only records 1080p video at 60 or at 30 frames per second however for most people's like youtube channels and stuff that's all you really need Something to note is that it does record these videos to your default videos folder. So if you have that set to your C drive, your operating system drive, instead of a recording drive, you'll want to change that because it's going to be using your SSD or your boot drive to record instead of whatever you have set up for recording drives. So that is something to note. Uh, you can just change that in your library options. I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. So can you record Windows 10 games? Yes, technically but only with an external capture card or with their Xbox menu, not through the convenient use of DX Story for apps or really even shadow play. So that is something to keep in mind. I hope this video was helpful to you and I hope it's gonna be a bit more helpful in just a second. Let me tell it to stop recording. Okay, it looks like it stopped recording on its own. I'm gonna exit this and we're gonna show you real quick how to edit your video's location. So we're gonna to go to this PC, right click videos, go to properties, and then location and then just tell it to move and mine's on my g drive which isn't actually my recording drive but it's a drive that's just fine to record windows 10 games um, but you want to make sure it's not on your c drive if you have another hard drive installed on your system if you don't don't worry about it i'm not going to go into that in this video overall i hope this video was helpful to you if it was be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos coming up and otherwise i'll see you in the next video